on this day, the 18th of December, 1916, the Battle of Verdun ends. The Battle of Verdun lasted for nine months, three weeks, and six days. 302 days in total. It was the longest battle of the Great War, and one of the longest battles in all of history. It was also one of the costliest in terms of human life. Over 900,000 men were killed or injured during this battle. When you hear the word injured, these aren't paper cuts, bruises, black eyes. These are missing limbs, permanent incapacity because of poison gas. These are uh, deep wounds um, from metal and bullets that lodge deep inside. Mental injuries as well, although they're probably not even counted in this. Some of these people will be permanently disabled, unable to do very much of anything for the rest of their lives. France lost 163,000 men over, the, over these nine months. Germany lost 143,000 men. Dead. These are incredible numbers, and it was one of the costliest battles in all of history. Now, Verdun has a place, a special place, in the hearts of Frenchmen. It is an ancient town where various battles have been fought before, and where glorious things have been done. Philippe Patin was in charge of Verdun. He became known as the hero of Verdun. The Germans attacked, and they were attacking not necessarily because they wanted to take Verdun, although that would have been nice, but because they wanted to bleed France dry. They believed that if they attacked Verdun, French pride would not allow it to fall. They would throw everything at it and they would lose all their strategic reserves. They would be forced to sue for peace or, if they didn't, the Germans would then smash the weakened French and British, defeat France and push the British off the continent. This was the plan and assumption of our old friend General Falkenhayn, the same guy who later on would give up Jerusalem to General Allenby. But at the moment, he's on the Western Front, and he believed that Germany could do this. He believed that if the Germans took the hills surrounding Verdun, they could, they could incur massive casualties on the French without taking that many themselves. Now, looking at the numbers, he wasn't completely correct. There is a difference of about 20,000 dead, but only 20,000, so 163,000 to 143,000. Is it really worth that? Like that? If it was like 14,000, I'd say, oh yeah, he was right. I don't think he was that genius at this, was he? Now, this battle wasn't, as I said, wasn't meant to necessarily defeat the French in just an outright battle. They knew that the British would also attack to take some of the heat off the French, which is exactly what happened. In July, 
the Battle of the Somme began. And this was another enormous battle where oh, there was over a million casualties, so equal to almost equal to Verdun. Didn't last as long. There weren't as many dead, but not far off. Falkenhayn realized that this was probably going to happen, but that for him was good because he also wanted to weaken British as well. So his plan A was to weaken the French, grind them down until they sued for peace. If they refused to do that, and he knew that the British would attack at some point on the front, his plan was then to get his reserves attack in across the lines, defeat the French, because that'd be easy to defeat at that point, and then turn and push the British out. That was the plan. As you know, that didn't work, and Germany didn't end up being as strong as he was obviously thinking. After or during the war, there was a rebellion, well, a mutiny at Verdun. French troops refusing to fight. Uh, this was a problem. And there were some people taken away and shot. Verdun became a symbol of French resistance in this war. It was kind of the, the same sort of thing as the Somme is to Britain, or Ypres. These two battles loom large in the imagination of the British, and Verdun is the very same. It looms large in the imaginations of the French, and the memories of the French. So. But in the end, the Germans could not, at this time, defeat France. They could not defeat the Allies in the West. And did they try? So on this day, the 18th of December, the greatest battle of the Great War comes to an end. 18th of December, 1916. Come back tomorrow for more. Like, subscribe, and comment.